Hey, welcome here, Floofy Kins. It's Robin with your daily spirit message reading. This is for Saturday, March 2nd, and it is Catterday. So happy Catterday to you. I'm getting, uh, does anybody know that uh, Bay City Roller song? <laughs> I'm getting uh, in my head, it's like my spirit guides are singing Saturday night, but they're singing it with like a C instead of an S. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, but it's also very cool. So I'm using the Black Cat Tarot to do your reading, and let's just see what happens today. What I never know, okay? So it's just as much a surprise for me as it is for you. So what have we got here? I feel a big sneeze coming on. So I have the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So oh, look at this guy. Look at him. He's like got his cup up to somebody else's, uh, like it's almost like he's filling from somebody else's cup. So we've got the nine of cups in reverse. So I think the news is not necessarily so bright, you know, it's like somebody that you have been going to for support, you know, emotional, or maybe they're just a bright, you know, they make you laugh and the energy is really good. I feel like they're going to be um, on their way soon. So uh, they could be just going through some life changes and not want you in their life anymore. I think for some of you, it could be that they get uh, like they have a partner or they're getting a new partner, romantic partner. Uh, that doesn't like you, which sucks. And they're saying, well, you know, you can't talk to them anymore. And unfortunately, it's like this friend of yours, and it's probably going to be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio because we're seeing the Nine of Cups, which is water. Um, so, yeah, you could expect that to open up a bit of um, an availability for new friends, you know? Um, so let's have oh jeez so we do have the tower card here so and it's probably yeah you can see and this car this tower card always gives the impression of being in motion so i feel like something um maybe you had a discussion with your friend and maybe there was some sort of be betrayal maybe you hurt their feelings on accident or something like that and this water sign friend, they were like, no, everything's totally cool. I'm fine. But they're not fine. Okay. And then they went and told their romantic partner and now it's going to come back and blow up in your face. So I feel like this person, they could ghost you. They could block you. They could just stop returning your calls. I feel like they're going to handle this like split of friendship very, very, very poorly. They're not going to give you any type of an explanation. Uh, so I'm going to write that down. Hold on. Hold on. So anyway, I feel like this is just going to be like super painful, you know, because this is somebody that you've been friends with or connected with. And all of a sudden, you know, you might go on social media and go to look them up or message them and understand that they have blocked you. Okay. But uh, the good news is, all right, so we do have the Ace of Swords, that this is something that has to happen, okay? This is because they, I feel like this person has been holding some sort of a, a low-key grudge and maybe the energy that you're getting from them isn't what you think it is. We do have Archangel Michael up here and sort of announcing to the world that it's time for this to come to an end. And it's probably not going to feel very good, unfortunately, okay? <laughs> so we have the Seven of Wands here. And this you're just going to have to fight for yourself and your self-esteem through this, you know? Um, you're just going to have to pick up the pieces and just say, okay, well, this is where we are right now. And maybe that person will come back around. But, I mean, I really do want you to consider, do you want somebody in your life that just blocks you or doesn't respond to you? just because it's a relief to hear from them, okay? And I want you guys to also consider if you're single, if there's an ex coming back, do you want them to come back after angel number 444, after they split, you know? So yeah, probably not too much fun, but just really stay strong, okay? <laughs>